When something goes wrong with my cars and I get any warning lights on dashboards and all that, I like to know about it first, kind of, and uh, find out exactly what it is. Regardless if I can fix it myself or not, at least I'll have an idea of what's going on. And uh, these OBD devices uh, are very good to, to uh, basically scan your computer car, car, the computer on your car and find out uh, about the fault codes on that. Now, on their own, they don't really work, but they, you need the software for it. You can get that on the App Store and um, on Google Play. And I will show you quickly what this is all about, really. In here, you have the device itself. I have another one which, um, which is about half the size of this but again size doesn't really uh, bother me that much on the back it's OBD2 it's a diagnostic interface basically a Bluetooth um, uh, powered um, device they're not expensive you can get them from a few quid to maybe 20 pounds or so and in here you have the instruction manuals uh, again this is for Android and you have your instructions tr troubleshooting and information and all that so this particular one uh, suggests that you install the free torque light app uh, and do not install the full version unless you're familiar with using the torque app which I have on my phone and uh, I am uh, familiar with it. So, other than that, with the vehicle in the off position, insert it, this into the port and turn the vehicle to on. You pair it with a Bluetooth scanner and all that and um, I'll show you that in a minute. But I have to plug this into the car and uh, you have the default password which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's take this to the car and uh, plug it in. And then I'll show you on my phone what this is uh, going to do. So, in this particular car, the um, OBD port is located right here. This is a Mercedes uh, B Class, and uh, you can see this little flap here right under the dashboard. We just open that up. I guess the, it's not the best. Uh, lightning here but there's nothing I can do about it so just plug in this device see how it does fit in here one way or another this is it it is plugged in unfortunately it's plugged in uh, like uh, with the back facing this way so I won't see if there's any LEDs on that side but I'm gonna try in the other car as well and see if that's going to to change now let's put the ignition on and uh, and put uh, with the phone see how it goes okay backwards I have the ignition on right now so right now I'm just gonna start the car I sometimes have uh, the check engine light on in this car so let's see if it's going to stay on or not right now well you see the ignition it's on and now the check engine lights right there stayed on Let's pair uh, that device with the phone and uh, then uh, let's check. Let's check for any codes. I'll take my phone right here and uh, go to the Bluetooth section. And right now, Uh, 
I'm going to search for that Rogue device. Dash cam is recording. Like I said I have another one right here, but that's a uh, one that I had previously. It's uh, a bit difficult to to film. Let me try and see. All right, can I get a better image of this? So right now you can see that's a new device available right there. So I'm gonna press on it to pair it. I get the the pin one, two, three, and four. Okay. You have the pairing right there, and now the device should be right connected. I'm gonna open my Tor cap right there. And basically you have multiple OBD2 device pairs, but you haven't told Tor which one to use. So let's go to the settings and I'll uh, use the one that uh, it's uh, right there. Adapter settings. Okay. Let's go back to Torque. And I'm trying to choose that device probably if, unless you have two or more like me then uh, you won't have this problem right here I'm trying to get on the screen but uh, let's exit torque and uh, start it again so exiting torque right now and I'm gonna go to full codes but I uh, usually right here when it is connected on the top I should have a connection a, uh, a green uh, arrow for connection but anyway I'm gonna try and see if it's logging in so right now as you can see it's scanning straight away I have a powertrain a current fault and uh, you can see the codes as well on it is a P00F8 and uh, to get that you would have to uh, check online and see how that can be fixed right now I have two faults but only one it's basically visible there what you can do it's if you know exactly what you're doing and uh, you can basically tap on these three dots right there and then clear faults on ECU and you have you, you get the warning everything else but I'm just gonna just clear it so it's sending the clear command and then the light on the dashboard should go off now don't do this unless you know exactly how you do it what to do and uh, how you're doing it going back on my dashboard right here i'm going to start the car and see if that uh, light has actually gone off so you see the light has gone off now and uh, Obviously, because it's a recurring problem, it's going to come back on again at some time. Uh, but uh, I'm going to take the car to a mechanic and uh, see exactly what's wrong with it, because uh, obviously I can't fix this. All in all, as I said before, it's a good little device to have. Just to give you an idea, if you get any fault codes on your dashboard and uh, uh, if you want to basically fix it yourself or you're just curious of what else this can do let me just show you another thing right now I'll put the car back on and uh, going back to my screen right here I'm going to start the torque up again and turn the phone right this way because you can see it better 
if I press real-time information on it then you'll have more details about the engine let me just show you this so that's the real-time information in it you have the revs the speed uh, coolant acceleration all that throttle position and the vacuums whatever if I can if I accelerate the car you can see how it moves looking at the revs So basically you have some real-time information on your screen, on your phone, even your tablet, whatever you choose to use with this and uh, it's a neat thing. Like I said, they're not expensive, very useful and uh, you can see the link in the description.